Yeah, we're making a documentary here on Louisville. Why would you come to Louisville? <laughs> Welcome to Tech Nomad. Each week, a member of our Inverse team travels to a new city that's using technology to improve the lives of its citizens and the world. This week, we're in Lou. How do you say it? Is it Lou? Louisville. 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 L O U I S V I L L E. This week, we're in Louisville, Kentucky, best known for a baseball bat, a horse race, and bourbon whiskey. But it's also known for this. Louisville, Kentucky is one of the worst places to live in the United States if you have a breathing disorder. Could you give me any context to the pollution problem in Louisville? So, in the ER, yeah. it's probably the number one reason that we see patients. I sleep with oxygen, two liters. And I take a breathing treatment four times a day with my nebulizer. It's not just the air, but it's, it's a bad spot for allergens too. But yeah, there's certain times when the air, when they give those alerts. An air quality alert has been issued. We do have an air quality alert for today. Today, ozone levels reached unhealthy limits. Most cities, uh, they'll have a chamber of commerce that collects best lists. So Louisville's the best place to get bourbon. It's the best place that, you know, Long list of best. There's also worst lists. When I just asked around in the hallways, why are we the worst at this? I didn't get satisfying answers, is the truth. How do we get off the list is really the goal. Get off the list. It says, do not eat the fish in Chickasaw Park Lake. These fish are potentially a health risk as they may be contaminated. This is a temporary ban while additional testing is done. Additional testing? Brandon Weston, how are you, man? Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Hey. Like you're not concerned about this stuff? Uh, no, nah, not really. I don't, uh, I don't really eat the fish out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I just do it for sport, really. Air Louisville really started as a way to answer the question, is the entire city of Louisville and the entire region of this part of Kentucky um, toxic in some way? We enrolled 1,100 people and collected 250,000 data points about asthma in Louisville, Kentucky. So we're able to just take sensors that fit onto patients' existing inhalers um, and they don't get in the way of their use. When I push down on the inhaler, it just captures date, timestamp, and then that through Bluetooth syncs to the app on your phone. For providers and for clinicians, this is information that we never had access to. Yeah, so it would always be like an estimation, and yeah. now we have like specific data. Exactly. I'm talking to Dawn, she's studying to be a nurse practitioner, and she actually uses the Air Louisville technology, the tech we're gonna see today. Asthma nearly killed me. It almost took me, I have five children. I'm fairly young still, and it almost took me from my life. It was the very first time a doctor had had a patient bring in everything that they'd done and all of their symptoms in real time. Data's coming back. What are you doing with this data? So when the pilot data came back and we actually saw a heat map, we went to folks who actually are making decisions about where people live, how, you know, how development can occur, how transportation works. We could sort of put the air in a different context and say, this is what's happening in our city. These are some places in the county that it's really bad. Let's talk about policy. Let's talk about transportation policy or trees. Once we saw the connection to air pollution, uh, we actually looked for solutions that we can implement locally that could remediate uh, air quality. Their data is that they decreased asthma symptoms in all of their 1,100 distance by 80% in a couple of years span. It's amazing. Yeah. I think it really has become a model. I know that other cities have reached out to us um, trying to figure out how do we model what Louisville has done. This is kind of a, an active form of public policy that I think is the best way to use technology like this. Rest of the day today, you need to go down to feast and you're gonna have um, it, barbecue down there with some bourbon slushies. I don't know. I don't know how long your day so, is, but Evan Williams has a nice bourbon tour right there too, as well. All you right. Can do. So, how much do you all know about prohibition just in general? It sucked. Amen. No, A plus on that one. While the bourbon slushy was pretty underwhelming and not great at all, Air Louisville is truly remarkable. I think Don says it best. I feel better about the world. There are good people trying to do good things. And that's what Louisville's about. We're just one community. And if we can keep Louisville this amazing place, then there are other places in the world that are just as amazing. <laughs>